Quokka. The quokka, also known as the short-tailed scrub wallaby, Cetonyx brachiurus, the only member of the genus Cetonyx, is a small macropod about the size of a domestic cat. Like other marsupials in the macropod family, such as kangaroos and wallabies, the quokka is herbivorous and mainly nocturnal. Quarkas are found on some smaller islands off the coast of Western Australia, particularly Rottnest Island, just off Perth, and also Bald Island near Albany, and in isolated, scattered populations in forest and coastal heath between Perth and Albany. A small colony exists at the eastern limit of their range in a protected area of Two People's Bay Nature Reserve, where they coexist with the critically endangered Gilbert's Potteroo. Like most macropods, quarkas eat many types of vegetation, including grasses, sedges and leaves. A study found that Gishinotia ledifolia, a small shrub species of the family Malvaceae, is one of the quokka's favored foods. Rottnest Island visitors are urged to never feed quarkas, in part because eating human food can cause dehydration and malnourishment, both of which are detrimental to the quokka's health. Despite the relative lack of fresh water on Rottnest Island, quarkas do have high water requirements, which they satisfy mostly through eating vegetation. On the mainland, quarkas only live in areas that have 600 mm or more of rain per year. Description A quokka weighs 2.5 to 5.0 kg and is 40 to 54 cm long with a 25 to 30 cm long tail, which is quite short for a macropod. It has a stocky build, well-developed hind legs, rounded ears, and a short, broad head. Its musculoskeletal system was originally adapted for terrestrial bipedal saltation, but over its evolution, its system has been built for arboreal locomotion. Although looking rather like a very small kangaroo, it can climb small trees and shrubs up to 1.5 meters. Its coarse fur is a grizzled brown color, fading to buff underneath. The quokka is known to live for an average of 10 years. Quarkas have a promiscuous mating system. After a month of gestation, females give birth to a single baby called a joey. Females can give birth twice a year and produce about 17 joeys during their lifespan. The joey lives in its mother's pouch for six months. Once it leaves the pouch, the joey relies on its mother for milk for two more months and is fully weaned around eight months after birth. Females sexually mature after roughly 18 months. When a female quokka with a joey in her pouch is pursued by a predator, she may drop her baby onto the ground. The joey produces noises, which may serve to attract the predator's attention, while the mother escapes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.